Okay, so let's have a look through question one. So work out an estimate of 31 times 4.92, all divided by 0 0.21. So if we round each number to one significant figure, I've got 30 multiplied by 5 divided by 0 0.2. So you get a mark for that part. So you should have written that down. Simplify that. So 30 times 5 is 150 divided by 0 0.2. Now, if I multiply both of those by 10, it'll make it easier. Because I'm multiplying them both, it's an equivalent fraction. So I've got 1,500 divided by 2, which is 750. So my answer to that one is 750. Okay, second one. 4,000, because I'm rounding it to one significant figure. So that's the 3, which is in the thousands, thousands column, sorry. So rounding to the nearest 1,000 divided by 200 multiplied by 5. So again, one mark for that. When I simplify it, 4,200 times 5 is 1,000. So 4,000 divided by 1,000. 4 divided by 1, which is 4. Sorry. Question 3. So estimate this. So again, one significant figure. So nearest 100, I've got 600. One significant figure, it's that column there. So tenths, so 0 0.2. So I'm going to do the same as the, what we did for question 1, just to make it slightly easier. Times 10 and times 10. So 6,000 divided by 2, which is 3,000. So make sure you're marking these. Um, question 4. So slightly different, because I've got a square root in this. So 5.87 becomes 6. We're looking for the closest square number to 101.7, which in this case is 100. Divided by 2 squared. So again, one mark. Now, square root of 100, we said the other day, square root of 100 would give us both a positive and a negative value. Because it could be 10 or negative minus 10. But in this case, I'm just going to use the positive. 2 squared is 4. So 60 divided by 4, which is 15. Okay, question 5. 7 times 20 divided by 0 0.5 so 140 divided by 0 0.5 okay we can do the same thing again multiply both by 10 and work it that way or we know that dividing by a half is the same as times in by 2 so actually my answer to that one is 280 okay right question 6 i've got 200 Multiplied by 100, divided by 50. So, 20,000 divided by 50. I can divide both by 10. So, I've got 2,000 divided by 5. Okay, so that's 400. Right, question 7. Work out and estimate... Uh, sorry, work out an estimate, I think that's meant to say, for the value of this question here. So I'm going to round each one, 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 squared. Okay, 0 0.5 times 0 0.6. So that for that one, I've got 0 0.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.3. So 0.5 is a half, so I've got a half of 0 0.6. And then I'm squaring it. When you're squaring something, you multiply it by itself. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. Okay. So for that, I've got 0 0.09 this time. Because 3 times 3 would make 9. So it's 0 0.09 because I need two decimal places in my answer. So, show that these are incorrect. So, 0 0.4 squared multiplied by 20. So, 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.16 times by 20. So, 0 0.16 times 10 is 1.6. Okay. Then times that by 2. So, I've times it by 10 to make this. Then times it by 2. That gets me 3.2. Shows that that's incorrect. Okay, 20 plus 1 equals 
21. Okay, so that's not correct. Um, okay, this one. Or actually, even if we looked at that, if you looked at that one in more detail, and we could round it to one decimal place, for example, 24.6 plus 1.2 would get me 25.8. So it has to be more than that answer. So either of those who've just shown some estimation. Uh, 80 divided by 8 plus 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay. So 80 divided by 13. Well, that's quite difficult. However, I know that my answer for that has to be smaller than 8. Because 80 divided by 10 is 8. So if I divide by a bigger number, I'm going to get a smaller answer. So that cannot be correct because it has to be less than 8. Question nine. Francis has £45 to spend at the garden centre. He wants to buy a bird table costing £23.85 and six bags of bird seed costing £2.95 each. So, 45 altogether. £23.85. We're going to round that. £20. Rounded down though. Okay. Um, in terms of six bags of bird seed costing £2.95. So I'm going to do six times three, slightly rounding up which is 18. So if I add those together, £38, which is definitely enough. That's less than 45. So yes. Okay, even if we rounded this up to 25, he would still have more than enough. 